What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video we got early reveals for the fan appreciation promo which will be dropping later this afternoon in Mutt 24 and also we're going to take a look at all the free rewards that you can earn in the competitive pass which will be dropping tomorrow morning. Let's go ahead and jump right on into it. A lot of cards to go over. We're going to start with the free welcome pack players in the fan appreciation promo and I believe that you're going to be able to earn both of these cards for free. So the first one is Ryan Clark, 98 speed, 98 man, 98 zone, 98 hit power. These cards are going to get all 32 NFL team camps. Not only that, they're going to get times five or five different buckets. So you can go times five Eagles come on these cards. You can go five different team comes on these cards. It's up to you. Needless to say, both of them are really, really good. And they're also going to get three discounted ability buckets, which include pick artist, deep zone KO. I believe he's going to get mid zone KO. I'm not going to go through all of the abilities on all of these cards. There's a lot to go through and I don't want the video to take forever, but when the content's in game we're going to go through a lot of this stuff and we're probably going to put out some videos on the best fan appreciation cards to add as well because like i said there's a lot of cards to go through um, but overall this is a really really good free card and i will 100 percent be using it on my no money spent squad unsure about my main team because we got larry wilson right now which is probably the best free safety in the game or at least one of them but this is a really really good free card and we'll show you the ways to earn it as well the other one is going to be plaxico burst again gets three zero ap discounted buckets gets times five of any team cam or any way you want to break up those five team cam buckets you can go for it he's going to get route technician he's going to get evasive and by the way i'm pretty sure both of these cards also get charged up x factor so you can put yakim up on this plax card you can put universal coverage on the ryan clark card 98's pretty much everywhere easily going to be able to get to 99 speed on this card the rest of the stuff isn't going to play any different from a 98 to a 99 so these are two perfect end game cards that you can earn 100 for free i love it there's also going to be two 97 overall cards that you can earn for free via solo challenges so in part one, we're going to have solos that will give you a free Aeneas Williams. I know it's only a 97 overall. He's got a baked in deep route KO. They also get all 32 team camps. So it's going to be very easy to get this card to a 98 or even 99 speed. His zone and man coverages are already above 95. So that's good. This is yet another pretty good free option. I don't remember if these cards get the charge up X factors. If they do, that makes them even better. So that's going to be in release number one. Release number two, likely going to be a week from today. Next Thursday, we're going to get more solos and playing through those solos will give you a free Dree Archer, which comes with 99 stock speed and evasive baked on another extremely good free running back that will also get all 32 NFL team chems. Again, I can't remember if these get charged up X factors. I don't think they do, but if they do, then you got angry runs for one AP as a possibility. So a ton of free content with free fan appreciation. We still have the field pass to go through, but we have a ton of 99 overall champions. Now it was a little bit unclear on how you're going to earn these cards. I know they will be in fan appreciation packs and there's going to be packs that you can earn in the field pass. I'm sure you're going to be able to buy them with coins as well. Also all of these 99 overalls that we're going to go through get charged up X factors based on their position and they get Get three zero AP discounted buckets. Deshaun Jackson is going to get route technician. He's going to get evasive. That's good enough for me right there. Deep elite return man and playmaker, I think are the other three. So you already know this card will 100% be on the squad. They didn't show any item sets on GMM this morning. So I don't know if there's going to be sets that you can complete to get these cards as well. Uh, will Shields, probably the best right guard in the game because of the three discounted buckets. One of them is secure protector for zero AP. He's got 99 strength. 99 run block 98 pass block uh, i will likely be picking up this card and he, he's going to be replacing uh robert hunt on my main team and hopefully my no money spent squad i think matador post up and nasty streak were some of the other abilities that this card gets for zero ap but as long as you got secure protector you are good to go ed too tall jones because they get charged up x factors he's going to be able to get unstoppable force he's got 99 finesse move 96 power move 98 block shed 93 speed the strength is a a little bit low and these cards i want to be clear these 99s don't get any team chem these ones are only going to get the team chem for the teams that they played for double or nothing edge threat elite no outsider speedster were some of the abilities that i remember this card getting 
but he's going to get the unstoppable force again that's going to be enough uh arian foster he's going to get evasive he's going to get energizer 98 speed 99 trucking 99 brake tackle 99 carry 98 agility catching at 80 is good enough he will get angry runs as a charge up x factor for one ap does he rank as one of the top running backs in the game absolutely not but there's so many options out there right now that you can pick between golden tickets and the theme team all-star cards and now some of these cards at running back that all get angry runs as long as you got that on you and at least jukebox or evasive i think you're going to be good to go uh warren moon solid card he's going to have slinger five release but he's not getting like master tactician i don't think he's getting pass lead elite you can basically get set feet lead hot route master and gunslinger all on this card for a total of zero ap He's going to get, you know, like if you want to go with Omaha for 1 AP, you can. I can't remember if they said if he would get Trez or not as, as a charge up X Factor, but this is a really good AP saving quarterback because you can get a good stack on him and not spend one ability point on offense. And the attributes look good to me along with the Slinger 5 release. You are going to want to use the Gunslinger ability, but it's one of those zero AP options. So is this the best quarterback in the game? Absolutely not, but I like him for saving a lot of AP. Night Train lane is only going to be good if you run a lot of man coverage which i'm kind of learning that that's becoming the meta now for me i've been running it since day one so i was excited to hear the abilities on this car but i did see when they were announcing it on gmm that some people were disappointed uh with the lack of zone coverage abilities i think he does get flat zone ko but i know man coverage wise he's going to get deep route ko mid route ko and pick artist that's the route that i would go no pun intended there with the abilities on this card and of course Course, he's going to get a charge up x factor and universal coverage is one of those options so even if you do run zone that's going to give you a lot of the knockouts as well and it gives you 99 speed press zone coverage man coverage play rec jumping uh acceleration the only thing that's not 99 on this card is agility so this is, a, is another really really good looking card in my opinion uh clay matthews i tweeted this out when they revealed the card his legend card which i think was like a 95 overall I don't know why, but it was like one of the best cards I've used all year. So I might try this card just because of that. He will get unstoppable force as an X factor. I don't think he's getting double or nothing, unfortunately, or lurk artists, which were two things that really made this card great when he had the legend card earlier in the year, but he gives you 98 speed on the edge there, 99 power move, 95 block shed. The strength is super important at 97. Hopefully you can get that up to 98 or 99 with team chems or strategy items. I don't like at a 99 overall as a power rusher though, with only the 81 finesse move. So this one's a little bit disappointing, but I'm I'm still curious to see how this card actually plays out on the field. And there he is, Warren Sapp. Arguably one of the best cards of the entire year was his Super Bowl card. And he gets an upgrade finally, well-deserving, 94 speed defensive tackle, 99 strength, power move, block shed. His finesse moves 98, tackle 94, play rec 98. And he will get unstoppable force as an X factor. He also will get secure tackler, inside stuff, under pressure. I think he has the right zero AP abilities to be as dominant as his Super Bowl card was, uh, but we're kind of getting overloaded at defensive tackle with like John Randall and Vince Wolfork. We got the Season 7 Field Pass Award, the free card, and Jordan Davis, which is kind of equally as good, minus not having the X Factor. So this one, price dependent, I, I want to try him out because it's Warren Sapp and his Super Bowl card was so good, but it doesn't feel like a must-have card, at least for me, with the current cards that are out there now and the free Jordan Davis. We got three LTDs. Actually, four LTDs. These are more disappointing. Like, the champions are good money to me. The LTDs are pretty disappointing. Now, Ty Law is good if you run zone because he's going to get the uh, universal coverage X Factor charged up. And he also gets on discounts flat zone KO, mid zone KO, deep zone KO, and pick artists. You get to pick three of those four. So, if you run a ton of zone coverage, this card is definitely catered for you. This one isn't bad. The next two are terrible. Like, Julius Thomas doesn't get jukebox. He doesn't get evasive. He doesn't get route technician. I think they gave him tank as one of his zero ap abilities only 70 run block much better options at tight end out there so i would pass on this one this one hurts my soul because Elshon got a card earlier in the year that didn't really have good abilities and at the time eagles had a lot of good receivers to use so i never bothered to try him out he finally gets an upgrade here really good attributes but again they gave him terrible
terrible abilities and I don't really see much of an incentive to go out there and get him. He will get Yak him up as a charge up X Factor, which is good, but listen to the abilities. Matchup Nightmare, mid in elite, mid out elite, red zone threat, and acrobat. No evasive, no jukebox, no route technician, no deep elite. Again, this one really, really hurts my soul. It's a pretty bad card ability-wise. We'll see if anything changes when these cards are in-game. And then the final LT News Junior Seau. Not mad at this one because he gets mid-zone KO. He gets Avalanche. He gets Lurk Artist. I think he gets Secure Tackler or Tackle Supreme. Everything that you would want on a middle linebacker, he is going to get pretty good attributes there. I think he's a little bit on the shorter side compared to a lot of middle linebackers out there. But not a terrible card. Overall, though, the LTD is pretty underwhelming. Uh, here are the entire field pass rewards. We don't really know exactly what's in the legendary fan appreciation variety pack, but they did say that those are the type of packs where you're going to chase after the 99 overall LTDs and champions, and the fact that they didn't show any item sets, we don't really know uh, where else you're going to get those cards from aside from packs and the auction house. So, with these variety packs being in here and one of them being titled as a legendary pack, I'm assuming that pack is going to contain a 99 overall, but it's going to be a random card. So we'll see what happens when people unlock it. And being that it's a two-part promo, I wouldn't expect the ability to unlock this pack today. You're probably going to have to wait until next Thursday. The fan appreciation tokens are going to be used to upgrade the welcome pack cards that we showed you earlier in Plaxico Burris and Ryan Clark. There's also going to be those tokens within Solo challenges it'll be a much more easier uh, to explain once the contents out later this afternoon and the controllers in our hand and of course we'll have a video dropping going over everything and what you need to do first and how you can unlock all of these free cards uh, but that is the field pass let's move on to the competitive pass which is going to be dropping tomorrow morning so you still have a little bit left tonight to finish up whatever rewards you're chasing in the current competitive pass highly recommend to try to get to level 26 because that gives you a free 99 overall bnd ultimate legend the two feature players are both going to be rookies i like the keon coleman card because he's kind of been in the news for his interviews and goofy things that he's saying and hopefully he's going to be a good player for the bills if you're a bill steam teamer you're probably happy he gets times for bills chemistry the attributes are really really good on the card if you're in the top thousand he's going to get four discounted buckets if you're outside of the top thousand he only gets one and his abilities weren't that great but the one that really really matters it's not going to be an x factor it's going to be treated as an ability he's going to get yak him up which breaks tackles after the catch now if he also gets like a jukebox or evasive in the in the discounted buckets that's going to be great but yak him up should be good enough so even if you're outside of the top thousand you'll get access to that as an ability that's going to be the second player that you earn the first one that you can earn is Kyrie jackson i looked him up he's six foot four he's also going to get universal coverage as an ability whether you're inside or outside of the top thousand you're going to get access to that so that's a w there attributes are great 99 speed 96 man 99 zone it'll be very easy to bump him up to 99 man with the right strategy items but i think the more uh the thing that i'm more impressed with are the competitive pass rewards for once and i think they were good last time around ex with the exception of trevor lawrence uh this competitive pass is really really good Take a look. Level 7, you get a free 99 overall weekly wild card. It is a BND. At level 26, you get a free 99 overall, aka cruise card. That is also a BND. But along with those exclusive players, at level 21, you get a free non-BND 99 overall Ultimate Legend card. And at level 42, which is going to take a while to get, it's going to be tough, but at level 42, you get a non-BND Golden Ticket. So with the exclusive players factored in, there's six free 99 overall cards that you can earn in the competitive pass. If you take out the two exclusive players, you still got four free 99s with two of them being BND, which means you can make a little bit of coin off of them. You might need that coin to build out rookie premieres because I'm sure by the time we start to get to level 21 and 42 in this comp pass, rookie premiere promo will be out or right around the corner. So really good competitive field pass in my opinion. Uh, and then we end the video with Ultimate Legend teasers. These cards, along with Reduxes, will be coming out Saturday morning, 10.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Leave your guesses down below in the comment section on who you think these Ultimate Legends are. A lot of content to digest but we'll be back in a couple hours once fan appreciation is in game we'll be dropping another video so be on the lookout for it thank you for watching this one my name is popular stranger i'm out peace